All right, good evening, everybody. My name is Rich Hay. I'm a uh, add-in reviewer for the We Got Served Windows Home Server website that Terry Walsh, uh, Microsoft MVP, created. Uh, I wanted tonight to do a screencast, a little bit different review of a custom add-in, to show you on the screen how you walk through doing one of these installations, uh, a little more visual. And the one I'm going to show you tonight is Windows Home Server Customizer. It was an add-in built by Jay Henricks. It's a very simple one but yet he's left some room for expansion which I'm sure he's going to put some great additions to it down the road. But for tonight it's capable of letting us change the default image that's displayed on your home service remote web page. Right now it's a it's a very happy running around in the yard family. Well we, if you want to make that more personal so it reflects something more of yourself or your family or anything else this gives you the option to do that and it makes it very easy. First thing we want to do though is obviously we want to go to the wegotserve.co.uk webpage, click on the add-ins link, and about two-thirds down the page you'll find Jay's add-in called WHSM Customizer. We want to click on that, grab it for a download. Now I take any downloads myself, this is just the way I work. I'm going to stick it in the temp directory because what I'm eventually going to do is I'm going to open up my software directory on my Windows Home Server in the add-ins directory I want to copy that file over into there so I'm going to go find that uh, there it is okay there's my computer there's my temp directory I'm going to take the customizer right there I'm going to copy it I'm going to open up my software directory I'm going to click on the add-ins and I'm going to paste it in here. Now that stores it on my home server and so it'll be available to me to download and install. So now I'll open up my Windows home server by clicking on the system tray icon. And what you want to do is once this opens up you want to come over here to the button called settings. So we'll click on that and what you'll find is you'll find a link on the left hand menu that says add-ins. You want to click on that and you open up a window on the right that shows you what's installed and what's available. And because we put that customizer in that add-ins directory it will show up as available to us to install. And right there's a button, hit the install button. It does its work, it's installed, you get a window that says hey it succeeded, it's ready to go, we gotta shut down the console now. So you hit OK, the console will shut off it'll unconnect you'll get this window that says hey it's disconnected and that's fine just clear that and then click the login button again on the server console alright now we're gonna go back to the settings button on the top right hand side of the toolbar and you'll see that we now have a new menu option called WHS customizer wanna click on that and you'll get the main window for the customizer and as you see Jay's built it so there's room for it to grow he's got three more spots there but for now he's made the functionality to be able to change the image on your remote web page so we'll click launch and I've already been messing around with this add-in so you see I've got a nice picture of myself there and also I've got the family that's the original picture and what you do here is you create a library of images so how did I get this one well top left you see create new image you click on that and you get the a dialog box I'm gonna open up my photos and I'm gonna to go to the directory of the photos I want to use and I'm gonna use this one right here so I double click on that and there it is and now you see what I have is I have this red square so I can just bring that in focus on any area I want and click to take it now up at the top what you'll see is I loaded the new image you get a nice green check mark got the preview ready to go. I want to look at the preview. There you go. So you can see what it looks like. I can close this. If I don't like it, I can move the thing around again by clicking inside. But let's say I'm happy with that picture. We'll center it a little bit and we're good. Now we'll say save. You get a little alert that says the image is saved. It's in the library. So now as you can see here, I've got three choices for my main picture. Myself, myself, and the family. And I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to say update the website image again quick alert that says it's been done and it closes I say OK and I exit the uh, Windows Home Server console so now what has changed well what you have to do is you have to log into 
your Windows Home Server via the name you registered when you installed it on the homeserver.com domain and there you go on my remote web page it's a picture of me now you can put anything you want here picture the family picture your computer picture your dog it really doesn't matter it leaves the flexibility up to you which is the great part about this add-in uh, a lot of people didn't want to have that picture there and they like the ability to go in there and change it when they want change it to suit their taste so this is the Windows Home Server Customizer add-in and you can find it on the We Got Served Windows Home Server webpage. Thanks for your attention. See you next time.